all right guys welcome back to tron trucking hope everybody had a happy holiday season and they're back to their schedule as you can see i'm out here in snow the white stuff i don't like nope no 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 we are headed to terminal warehouse and we're going to joshua texas it's basically somewhere between the north side of texas uh not texas austin actually it's like a little just a little south of dallas oh um not too far from my home actually but let's let's get about this let's get out of here All right, so I took some time off to find myself, I guess you could say. I do have some exciting news, extremely exciting news, um, that I want to share. Yeah, well, I'm going right. That I want to share with you guys here shortly once I get up and running. But we are leaving the terminal here in Akron. We have an empty, and we're going to get live loaded. So the good thing is, don't don't you dare do it, car. The good thing is, um, I've been getting a lot of drop and hooks the last the last couple months. So I've been making something fell. I've been making a, a lot of miles, and I've been having fun out here. Um, but I just needed that little time to, I guess, refocus and get my energy back on what I got going on. Um, and I've had an amazing time. I've gotten, I've got some videos that are, that'll probably be posted by the time this comes out. I got to spend time with my family. I, I took like 10 days off, um, just before Christmas to the 2nd of January down in North Carolina. Got to go to the beach, got to, um, just spend time, much needed quality family time. And my family enjoyed it. And it was a good family reset for me. I had been out here a long time and that was the longest period other than when I had to go to the funeral. And you know, it's not the best time to see family. But at the same time, I was blessed to be able to say I can go. And I am on cloud nine right now. I am so excited to share this news with you guys. Why would you? Trucking hasn't changed. I will say that. Trucking has not changed this entire time that I've been out here. I've gotten a little better, man. I've, I, I'm so mad because last week or the week before, I got my redemption. I got my redemption from Michelin and I didn't record because I was like, I'm tired of recording Michelin. I'm tired, like I was just so frustrated with it and everything like that, that um, I was just like, I'm not going to, um, I'm just not gonna record, I've done it now, whatever. And then I get there, and it was an extremely hard back that I would have thought was hard six months ago, and it was fine. I was like, oh, you Michelin. Like, I had a great time. Yeah, easy back. I, I, it would have been hard for me months ago. Oh shoot, that's never happened. It would have been hard for me months ago. I never had any issues getting, um, I never had any issues like hitting anything or something like that, but I got in there and it would take me a long time because it's extremely tight. Man, but I did a good job. Um, but yeah, this this new year has started out great. We did 3,754 miles last week, had a couple 700 mile weeks, and it was really just motivating a couple 700 mile days but it was really just motivating to like you know i was running and last week i was running to beat these storms and get up here to do my 34 but my dispatcher gave me all my loads and i was just like hey it's time to it's time to go so extremely excited about that that check that's gonna be coming in bah, 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 bah. but yeah we are here in akron i've never been to this location i normally just have done 
get my load from the yard, get my load from our, our house. Um, that's been a pretty much the gist of me getting loads out here. Okay, so the next time I come through here, I don't want to take this route. I would rather have just gotten on 76 the normal way I do. But mm, we'll listen to this GPS. Um, and we'll go from there. So, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Truck's been fine. We currently, you guys have been with me since I started with this truck in October. And currently we have 43,321 miles on the truck. So we've been getting it. Um, we have delivered in Colorado recently, um, Virginia, North Carolina, you know, a lot of my normal places and it's been great. Now, last week with this snowstorm, so it did get extremely cold. It was at one point uh, negative five when I was driving out at night and once it started to have freezing rain at negative five I said nope I'm done and I pulled over um, took a two hour sun came up roads were better and finished out my load then I got here to the terminal um, so much has happened like getting that roadside inspection um, you know, just, ah, it was, it, it's been a lot, but everything has turned out well. Oh man. All right. We're going to be making a right right here onto 76. Nobody's behind me. I was going to swing it wide, but it looks relatively nice. I don't know if I told you guys, like actually brought it up when I got the eight ball but it's actually made my driving a lot easier. And then I've used some of the techniques that you guys have told me and commented. Um, and I've gotten used to, I've, I've, I've started to reanalyze my videos and I've started to see where I was having issues. Like I would watch a video now that I have a little bit more experience and I am shooting off a lot of snow. Um, <laughs> whoopsie. Um, I can see, I can watch a video from like maybe one of my drop and hooks or when I'm going to a dock and I'm looking at the video. So if you watch the mirrors, I will eventually get a second camera, but if you watch the mirrors, you, that's where I'm looking at. And I see now what other people have been telling me like, Hey, you should have done this or that. I see where I left. I, I didn't get under it fast enough. And if I would have got under it fast enough, I would have made it just it, like, I, those little things I'm able to see and I appreciate the other YouTube channels that I used to watch when or still watch when I first started because they gave me that point of view so I'm glad I can provide that point of view but also for myself I'm glad that I can actually see it and be like oh yeah you're not gonna make that like a one shot one kill because of the way you did not get back under the trailer um, and one of the other tricks I have to do with this truck more often than the first truck, I don't know what it is, maybe it's the tighter steering wheel, is if I open the door, oh my God, I'm swinging. Like I will go right to where I wanna go. It's much easier to see everything that I wanna do. So I am literally just having a great time, but I'm able to get the trailer in there better. Um, shout out to the people from the LGBTQ truck drivers group. I really appreciate your um, shout outs and you know wisdom and all the things like that. Some of those people said they were in, you know, follow the channel. Um, T-Man, I see you out there. Like, I appreciate you guys. Um, and we'll see, we'll see where this goes. If you like my content, like and subscribe so I can get more of this pushed out to more people and just have fun with it. Um, I am still on my positivity high every day. I have not, uh, let me, okay. I have had little instances when a driver or something like that says something or does, does not says something, does something, then you're like, dang, you know, um, you get mad for that instant. But outside of that, trucking, 
I've had an amazing time and I'm always happy. I always try to spread positivity. I do want to start some new things with this channel, like, you know, a quote of the day. Um, before I start recording, a quote to... So, I do... I can't... I forgot. See, I haven't been filming in such a long time that I forgot I can't say the R word. I have to say filming. So, my bad. <laughs> I do want to get back to I I I have been down here before. I I don't know where I'm going, but I did Did we film this guys? Did we I remember this turn cuz I remember having to break my neck to look down in there to make sure nobody's going. Um but this is where Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, all right. The destination is going to be on the right. Um, okay. Terminal warehouse. Okay, so I did deliver down. I mean, I did pick up down here. It was on the left. Um, but it's saying it's on the right. And I remember when I came down here, there were other of our company's trucks on the right-hand side. Um, yeah, let me get over, car. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are looking. Oh, it's a mile. In, I don't know why I'm looking right now. But yeah, okay. I remember being down here. My dispatcher did say if they don't load me within like 90 minutes to start to load me, then to give them a call. Um, but I do want to say that the company officially knows. Well, somewhat. I've told them that I have this channel. Um, Nothing bad at all, like, I, but I've just told them that I, they're aware now of the cat is out the bag. Um, but I know somebody had commented and said other drivers from other, no, I haven't, it, it wasn't anything bad. It was actually very positive. Um, so we'll see where this goes. Um, so maybe once I find out more information, maybe I'll start talking about the company more. Um, I just provide my experience as of now, which that has, my experience has been amazing. Um, no complaints whatsoever. You guys see how I do. But, all right, so we are three quarters of a mile. We're looking for a terminal warehouse. Whew. It was a long, I had 35, I, it was longer than 34 hours because... There was this little snafu at my clock. Safety was like, hey, edit this. And it ended up being, a, meaning I had to sit here a little bit longer, but I was perfectly fine with that because when I woke up, as you can see, there was a little bit of snow. It dusted. It dusted. I'm not complaining about this. It's 17, probably 20 degrees. It's like 17 degrees. Okay, I'm cool with it. Oh, God. Three quarters. It said it's at the end. Rubber mate. Like, oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, the place I was loaded at before was across the street. <laughs> okay, this part hasn't changed. Uh, okay, it's, it says it's the next building. Total Distribution Inc. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna turn up in here. We're gonna turn up in here because I don't know.
road, potentially causing a hazard for people. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I have to look up the address, the actual name. What's his terminal freaking warehouse? 3340. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're here. Shipping dock should be the next dock. So we got to do the driver check in. Look at that. 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 All, all scared and unconvenient. Truck, why did you do that? All right. I'll be right back. Peace. All right, well, I hope this view is a little bit better. So I went inside. It is the correct place. I went inside. Apparently, I'm not supposed to have, a, it's not supposed to be ready until, well, my appointment's at 7 p.m. It's thir one o'clock. I was about to say 1300. Um, man, I didn't notice my camera was zoomed in a little bit so you couldn't see like all of this nice gloriness down here. Um, but yeah, so she told me to back up so I just jumped in real quick, did a straight back all the way back here, parked on the side. Um, and they have my number. And we'll see. Like, uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. But at the same time, I this is my first of the week. So it is what it is. But yes, I did get loaded over here into that bay over there. Um, picked into the door. People were pretty funny. The lady was really funny. Um, and then he got loaded over there. Um, I, I don't remember where I took that at, but I've been in this area because I did see my company's trucks over here. And I was like, well, why am I over there? I almost pulled into here. <laughs> but yeah, so the exciting news that I have for everyone is I've been notified and told, same thing, I've been told I am the driver of the month for my company. Yeah, I'm all excited. <laughs> like that really made my day because I've dedicated my life to this. I've been out here six months and I guess you had to be six months to be qualified, you know, to be in the running for it. And I hit that in December. So I'm, I was not expecting that. I was not working for that. I was just keeping my head down, doing what I'm doing. You guys see, I'll be out here getting it. And driver of the month. Like that is that little valid. That's just the validation or that little token of appreciation is so much to me because, you know, I've started a new career field and I have been running. And, you know, this this channel has taken off the the connections I have with my friends and my family and other drivers in the industry all over. It has been amazing. I wanted this, but I, I probably couldn't envision it feeling like this. And so for that, I am grateful. But yeah, driver of the month over here. <laughs> Now I just hope I don't mess it up. Like, oh man, don't mess it up. I'm like, oh, ain't that your driver of the month over there? Like, oh god. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll always have my anxiety. My anxiety always be through the roof. Oh, but we're gonna be here for a couple hours. So hopefully, when I leave here, the sun is still up. But y'all know how I do. I'm not driving into the wee hours of the night. But weather seems fine. I think I can get it pretty far. It just depends. We're there's no rush. Um, but the weather is bad down south right now. So the longer I take, the more it can melt. <laughs> Cause this is starting to melt. It is 21 degrees and pretty much melting. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, and I'll definitely document everything on the way down 
Peace. All right, guys, we're back. I've been sitting here for seven hours and nine minutes because my appointment was supposed to be at seven o'clock and they didn't get me in until seven o'clock. So we are now headed to, uh, where am I gonna drive to? Oh, we're headed to like Louisville. I'm gonna drive for the next five, six hours, get to Louisville about one something in the morning, try to find parking. The alternative is to sit here for another three hours, which is possible, and then start around 11. I'm too awake right now. Um, and I that way, the only other major city I have to hit is Little Rock and slide all the way to Texas. I hope not literally, <laughs> but there is some things. Uh, this load is 23,000 pounds, so I feel really comfortable about having that. It's a good, not too much, not too heavy, not too light of a load. Move to urge, avoid it. Stop playing with me, truck. But, of course, I'm not going to um, be uh, recording at night because there's nothing really to see. Um, and it's really kind of distorted. This is a hill. I saw a truck trying to get out of here early. I'm glad there's no snow. Um, so we'll get, we'll get to the highway and then we'll pick this up probably sometime tomorrow. About 300 and something miles from here. The total trip is... The total trip is 1,200, like 20 miles. We're gonna see what we can do. Come on, truck, get up this hill with this heavy load. Come on, buddy, you got it. Come on, Tron, shift. <laughs> get that trailer up the hill. All right, there we go. All right, got about 1.6 miles to the exit to get onto the highway and we're getting on 76 go 76 71 we're gonna go through Columbus Cincinnati and then get to Louisville and call it a night um, it is currently 11 degrees outside the roads have been cleared um, they were clear earlier when I came down at least the highways were side streets as you can see are pretty fine it got up to like 20 something degrees I would say about 25 today so it melted a lot of stuff which is crazy but the sun was right out so it melted a lot of stuff but with it getting cold like this at night it probably froze a lot of stuff as well so hopefully we get there with no issues and then we'll start if I get there around it says we'll get there around almost two o'clock so then that means we'll start around 12 and then I will hit the Bluegrass Parkway from there. The reason why I don't want to drive further than that is because when I get on the Kentucky Parkway, there's very limited places. You can't park on the side. There's, there's, it's, it's like about a 200, I think it's like 240 something, 250 some miles of no exits, one rest area, one truck stop. And a, uh, something like that. Um, so it's 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 a push. And at this time of night, I also just don't want to be back there. It's pitch black. I can start my morning and end it there. I mean, I, I can start my day and and go through there towards the morning time. But as far as starting and doing that route completely black, I don't I don't like doing it. I've found out what I like and what I don't like. And since I don't like that, then I'm not gonna go that route. So, until later, when the sun's either out or coming up. Um, that's just my preference. I do like driving at night, it is more peaceful. It feels like a lot of, especially truckers, a lot of us have a little bit more patience with one another. Um, and it's not as crazy out there. Let me make sure the CB's on, there we go. 
it's not as crazy out there so um yeah there isn't much to see got about a half mile to the exit um and we're gonna uh, i gotta figure out a different word we're gonna ride we're gonna ride all the way to louisville i like saying louisville louisville all right quarter mile should be the go past the light and then we'll make the left but yeah the roads look fine and where i currently am um and then i look down the route i think most of the winter storm stuff is pretty much cleared up on major roads um but we'll see and i am in no rush to get this load to to texas I know that Texas is currently going through, what is it, what are they calling Dallas? Dalaska? It's currently going through Dalaska down there. People are losing their mind in Texas. Um, with the snow and with the bad weather, you have a lot of uh, pipes busting. I'm praying that my home stays fine. We haven't had any issues yet, but there's also no guests in there until like this weekend. So I'm praying that the house you know, holds up fine. My friend is there, you know, monitoring and stuff. But yeah. Uh-oh. Got some snow on this on ramp. Oh no, it's just melted. Alright guys, let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I think my lane is good. All right, guys, I'll check back in with you tomorrow. Peace.